Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial introduction to ionic framework here we are going to discuss what is ionic what it offers so let's start actually ionic is a toolkit which provides the functionality to create mobile apps for both android and ios therefore these apps are called as hybrid mobile apps these apps looks like the native application but it enables the team to have only one code base that can be used in multiple platforms. Obviously, the Ionic is a front-end tool and it is built on the Cordova platform. The Ionic framework provides us hundreds of UI components. To create a hybrid mobile application, Ionic apps needs to access the native mobile functionality and it achieves this by using the capacitor plugin. It can be used in most front-end framework like React, Vue and Angular. The Angular makes the Ionic great and is the most widely supported. Therefore, we will go with the Angular 1. First, we set up the environment and then we create the first Ionic app. To set up the environment, we require three things. Editor. Uh, we will use here Visual Code Studio Code. Second, the Node Package Manager, Node.js. And the third one is Ionic CLI. Our first installation will be Visual Studio Code. You can download the installer file from here for Windows 8, 10 and 11. Once the installation is done, our second installation will be uh, Node.js. Here we get the installation file. After that, we will install the ionic CLI. The command goes here. It will take few seconds so wait for that. So our installations are done. Now the time to create the first ionic application. We will type here the command ionic start name of your application then the template you want to use whether you want to go with capacitor or Cordova so we choose here the capacitor let's run it now it's asking for the framework the available are angular react and view we'll select the first one angular Okay, the project is created. First, we move to the project directory. Then, Ionic run. See, here you will get the commands. Now, to run it, we will say ionic serve. Here you go. So it's a tab project. Three tabs are by default provided here. Tab 1, tab 2 and tab 3. So it run in the browser. Here you will get the URL. It run on the local host. Okay guys. Thanks.